Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at this question 4 on paper 1 of the sample assessment material for referred to pure maths. A particle p is moving along the x-axis. At time t seconds, t must be greater than or equal to 0, so we're assuming that the time progresses continually from a value of 0. The velocity v of p is given by v equals 4t squared minus 19t plus 12. Alright, so they're giving us the velocity. That means we can differentiate it to find the acceleration, and we can also integrate it to find the distance covered. So first, we want to find the values of t for which p is instantaneously at rest. Instantaneously at rest, that means the velocity will be zero. So if they're giving us the velocity function here, we just need to solve v equals zero. And when t equals zero, the displacement of p from the origin is, four, is minus four meters. So this detail, since we need to integrate v to find the velocity, we know we since we need to integrate v to find the distance, we know that the distance, which we'll call s, must be equal to the integral of v with respect to time plus, I mean, minus 4, because they're telling us that our constant of integration is minus 4. Find the displacement of p from the origin when t is equal to 6. So we need to find the integral from 6 to 0 of v dt minus 4. And at time t seconds, the acceleration of p is a meters per second square. Find the value of t when a equals 0. So we just need to differentiate v because a equals dv over dt and then set that to 0 and find t. All right, so this, this is a calculus question. It should be fairly straightforward if you know what you're doing. All right, so let's solve this equation equals zero. So 4t squared minus 19t, is that plus 12? Plus 12 equals zero. What we can do here is factorize by grouping. So AB is 4 times plus 12 is 48. And then we want to find two numbers that add to, 19, add to negative 19 and multiply together to create the product of 48. Now, 48 has the factors of 1 and 48, and then 2 and 24, then 3 and 16, and 3 and 16 add together to make 19, so it must be minus 3 and minus 16. So minus 3 factorizes with plus 12, and minus 16 factorizes with plus 4. So we'll break it up into 4t squared minus 16t minus 3t plus 12. And from 4t squared minus 16t, we can factorize out uh, 4t. So 4t of t minus 4 minus 3t plus 12. So we can factorize out a minus 3. And plus 12 divided by minus 3 is minus 4. Then since this is just the distributive property, we can factorize out t minus 4 from both of these and get that 4t minus 3 times t minus 4 is equal to 0. So since both these are equal to 0, either one of these could be equal to 0 because when something is 0, if you multiply it by anything else, it'll become 0. So t minus 4 equals 0, then t equals 4. So that's one value. And if 4t minus 3 equals 0, 
t could be 3 over 4. So our two values of t, for which the velocity is 0, will say that v must be equal to 0. So this is equal to 0, and then we've factor we'll, we'll factorize this by grouping, and we'll solve it from our factored equation. And t minus 4 equals 0, t is 4. 4 of t minus 3 equals 0, t is 3 over 4. So those are the values of t for which it is at rest. When t equals 0, the displacement of p from the origin is minus 4 meters. Find the displacement of p from the origin when t is equal to 6. So distance is equal to the integral of v with respect to time because it is the sum of all its velocities for infinitesimally small times. So, we need to find it when t is equal to 6. So it is the displacement at 6 minus the displacement at 0, which is minus 4. So first we want to find so, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let, let's rephrase this to be the definite integral from 0 to 6 of 4t squared minus 19t plus 12 dt. And we know the constant of integration is minus 4. So we'll say minus 4 here. See, this integral is the distance as if it had started at 0, and then minus 4 is because it started at minus 4, not 0. So let's perform this integration. It has to be 4t, the integral of 4t squared is um, 4 over 3t cubed, because when you differentiate that, you'll go back to integration. Okay. Minus 19t. And the integral of that would be minus 19 over 2 t squared, because the differential of this becomes that. And then plus 12. So just plus 12 t. And then this is from 6 to 0. And since this is a polynomial with no constant, when t equals 0, this whole thing will equal 0. So we just need to find... 4 over 3, oh, this is minus 4 as well, I forgot. 4 over 3 times 216, which is 6 cubed, minus 19 over 2 times 36, which is 6 squared, plus 12 times 6. And then finally, minus 4, because it starts at a position of minus 4 meters along the x-axis. So, I'm just going to put that into my calculator to evaluate this sum. 4 over 3 times 216 minus 19 over 2 times 36 plus 72 minus 4 And that gives us 14, which is, to be honest, a pretty interesting result for this. So we can say that the distance it traveled over 6 seconds is 18 meters, because that's the integral from 0 to 6, when we're assuming the constant is 0, and then minus 4, because it says it starts from minus 4 meters. Now, finally, they want us to find the value of t when the acceleration is 0, so we can put down 
the thing we know, which is that a is equal to differential of e with respect to time, and if you want to get d by dt of 4t squared minus 19t plus 12, you will end up with 8t minus 19. And since this is a linear equation, there can be only one solution, 8t minus 19 equals 0, 8t equals 19, t is 19 over 8 seconds. So that is the value for which a is 0. Now let's scroll down to the mark scene and see if we got this correct. I'm just going to run through this again to remind you. We find the values of t for which p is instantaneously at rest because being at rest means the velocity is 0, which means this expression is 0, and we just solve the quadratic equation. When t is 0, the displacement of p from the origin is minus 4, so we know the constant of integration must be minus 4, which, and we can use this information to integrate t to find the distance over a certain amount of time which is what we have to do in question B when we find the displacement of P from the origin when T equals 6. So that's how far it's traveled in 6 seconds, the integral of velocity with respect to time, and then minus 4 because that's a starting position. And then finally, at time T seconds, the acceleration of P is A meters per second. So A is the differential of the velocity with respect to time, dV over dt, and we need to just make that equal to 0. And since it's a linear equation, 18 minus 19, there's only one solution for T, which would be 19 over 8. Okay. So our answer to B was 14 meters, our answer to C was 19 over 8 seconds, and our answer to A was T equals 4 and T equals 3 over 4. Let's see if we are correct. Right, so v equals 0, so that is 0, and we solve the quadratic to get t is 3 over 4 and 4. Yep. The distance s, or rather displacement, so that's why it's s, because d is used for the differentiation, so that does not help us if we're saying d is equal to that. So s is what's normally used for distance, not d. s is equal to the integral of this, dt which is this plus c, when t is 0, s is minus 4, so the constant integration must be minus 4. Yep. And then we evaluate this integral to find that it all equates to 14 when t is 6. And then acceleration is the differential of velocity with respect to time, dv over dt, which is 18 minus 19. Set that equal to 0, solve the linear equation, and you get t is 19 over 8. Yes. So that's all nine marks for us. Thank you for watching.